Hey everybody, today we have a litter update video for the puppies from the Cupid's Arrow Litter. Hi, I'm Claire from Van Isle Labradoodles and in today's video we are going to do a two-week update for the six mini Labradoodle puppies from our litter with Mama Labradoodle Sierra and from Papa Labradoodle Copper. These little puppies are just over two weeks old now and we have been waiting for them to all open up their eyes so we can show you all how they look with their eyes open. Everybody's eyes have been open for a couple of days except for one of the puppies and we'll tell you who a little later in the video. And we'll also tell you who was the first puppy to open their eyes and that that happened when the puppies were only 10 days old. That was a very early puppy. So first we'll give you a little bit of an update on Mama Maisie. She is doing just an excellent job. She is a wonderful Mama Labradoodle. This is her first litter and you'd think that she'd been doing this all her life. She really enjoys being a mama. She looks after her puppy so nicely. They are all hugely fat as you will hear when we go through their weights. And by that I just mean they're nice plump juicy puppies. They're not fat or overweight or anything anything and she's really keeps everything spotless and she's starting to go out a bit on her own so uh, Maisie's guardians came or Maisie sorry <laughs> Sierra's guardians came to visit her the other day and Sierra was so happy to see them but she only went out with them for about 10 minutes and then she said sorry I gotta go gotta get back to my kids she is still very very devoted to them and of course worried about their well-being so while she's happy to get out and about and stretch her legs she still is not wanting to leave her little labradoodle puppies for more than about 10 minutes at a time so she's eating really well she has lots of milk and everybody is just doing really nicely so now we're going to go through each of the puppies in their birth order we'll tell you a little bit about their color and pattern their weight and also show you their beautiful eyes so the first puppy in this litter is blue collar oh and Sierra says well she doesn't think she wants to be on camera she's going to go for and check things out over here oh my goodness but we just got to make sure the puppies who are attached from nursing don't get dragged along with her there we go thanks Sierra so here's blue collar right here this is our first born, born puppy and Sierra is going to come and help make sure that he's spotless and clean she doesn't want to have any of her puppies on camera that aren't all cleaned up okay Sierra <laughs> thank you that's very nice of you to participate <laughs> and little blue collar boy here he is a gorgeous gorgeous deep deep red caramel color he almost looks like a, a an Irish setter kind of color of red but he is truly an Australian Labradoodle puppy and you can see his eyes are wide open he's looking around trying to see what he can find in the world hello my little love the puppy's ears are still closed so they can't hear yet but that should be changing in the next week as well and mr. blue collar boy is now 816 grams all the puppies actually probably weigh a little bit more than what we're telling you today as we weighed them yesterday. But as of yesterday, he was 816 grams. Really beautiful weight gain since he was born. And really just the richest, most gorgeous shade of color. He really is a very pretty little fellow. Here we go, blue. Next is purple collar. Hello, Purpy. Now purple collar is another boy. And purple is more of a caramel color. And then with all these beautiful flashy white spots. And also you can see purple has his eyes wide open. Don't you? Hello. Hello. Now the puppies can't really see anything yet. They can just get a glimpse of a shape. So everything is sort of a blob. But it, it won't take long before they start to recognize one blob from another. So this little puppy is a caramel, of course, and then lots, as I said, all this white flash on the chest and on the paws, on the head, on the nose, and then the trademark daddy copper tail, which we all love so much. Now, if this puppy had white all the ways around his neck, this would be a tuxedo, but he doesn't have that, so he's just a fancy suit, a little posh suit boy, aren't you? 
and Mr. Purple Collar is weighing in at 870 grams. He is the second largest puppy in the litter, doing just fabulously. There you go, Mr. Perp. I'll put you back there with your pals. Next is Red Collar. Hi, baby. Red Collar Girl is our only party in the litter. Oh, yes. Oh, and Mama Sierra's back to check. Make sure that we got our face washed and everything's just right for camera. So maybe going to go back in and see the kids again. Hi there, Red. So Red is a gorgeous little caramel party girl. She has the most pretty markings. I love the way her one eye has the patch on it and the other eye doesn't. It just really sets those markings off so beautifully. And then she has very, very, very well marked on her back. Lots of beautiful spots on this little girl. And the ears, look at the ears on this little one. They are so high set and tiny. They just are the cutest little things. Very, very much what we look for in an Australian Labradoodle puppy. That is what the breed standard calls for. And Red Collar Girl is 834 grams. So again, doing really nicely. After Red Collar, the next puppy on the list is Green Collar. Goodness, Purple's trying to escape. We'll just have to put you over here. Already by next week, we won't be able to have them in here or by our next video, they'll be up individual one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, not purple. We already did you purple. Sorry. I don't want you. No, I don't. I want green collar. There we go. Hi, green. Hi. This little boy is another beautiful caramel with some white spots and flash too and those beautiful big eyes. And you'll see on all the puppies that their eyes are blue right now. They will not stay blue. With caramel, they'll turn into a pretty hazel kind of color. They all have really beautiful eye colors. So this little one, he has some nice white on his nose, the top of his head, his chin and his chest. And just like his brothers and sisters, he has a baba copper tail. Yes, he does. Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes. And Green Collar is the smallest puppy in the litter right now. And he's coming in at 756 grams. So even though he's the smallest, holy smokes, that's a really nice weight for a puppy that's just two weeks old. Very, very well done. Thank you to Mama Sierra. Then we have Pink Collar Girl. Oh, she's sound asleep. Oh, come here, baby. I'm going to wake you up, Angel. Come here, Pink Collar Girl. Then my little one. Oh, here she comes. Pink Collar is just like her brother Green in that she is a caramel, but she doesn't have as many white flashes on her. Oh, there's a big yawn. I'm so sorry to wake you up. I'm so sorry about that. She has this lovely head on her, beautiful little short nose with a good strong stop. And if you don't know, the stop is right here where the nose joins onto the main part of the skull. And so you want a nice, good, defined stop, not a sloping nose at all. That is not part of the breed standard. And this little one, she doesn't have quite as much white on her. She does have her little toes dipped in white, and she does not have the white tip on her tail. Papa Copper didn't donate that, but she does have some lovely white on her chest too. Really pretty, nice dark coloring on her face. Really rich, rich color. And Miss Pink Collar is 778 grams. So she too is a lovely size. And then last but not least, and oh yes, and I should tell you, Pink Collar is the girl who opened up her eyes on day 10. She's been looking around at the world for quite a long time. She was clearly very curious about what she was going to find. And then our last puppy, Black Collar Girl, this is the reason we were all held up waiting and waiting and waiting for this video because she did not want to see the world. She did not want to open her eyes and as you will see, they really still are not all the ways open. She has some slits and she does open them kind of halfway, well not even half really, a quarter of the way. But she is not willing to come out of her cocoon yet and face the big bad world. She probably heard about COVID and said, I don't want to see all about that. This little girl is also a caramel, of course, and she too has quite a nice bit of white markings. Nice amount of white on her nose there, big white chest. And she has her back feet are both white as well. And then she does have a teeny little white tip 
from Papa Copper there when she's got a nutty little purr sound, which is probably her getting mad at me. Now all these puppies I can tell today have very sharp claws and that is something that we keep very, very close track of. So they will all get their claws trimmed. And why is that so important? Well, because when they're nursing, they go like this. They, they push on mama to be able to get the milk to come down more and more quickly. And if they do that and scratch her, then it's very easy for mom to get an infection and get mastitis, which is a ghastly thing to have. And we don't want to be having that happen. So we keep their claws crimmed really short. And Miss Black Holler Girl, well, guess what? She's the hefter out of the litter. She's the big one. She's 950 grams. She's almost a kilogram already. So she's big, but she sure doesn't want to see the world and show us her beautiful eyes. So we will have to wait until our next update to actually be able to see those beautiful peepers that she's got in there. So that is all the puppies from our beautiful Cupid's Arrow litter. All just doing so, so nicely. Beautiful, beautiful colors, beautiful, nice temperaments. You can see they're all really calm, relaxed. There's no fidgeting and fussing. There's a few little sounds starting to come out, which are always so sweet to hear when they start doing their little talks. And then you can see that even though they're all caramels, there is a really quite a wide variation from uh, blue color being the darkest all the way through to, mm, I would say pink is probably the lightest in terms of the body color. Well, obviously red color girl is has all the white on her, so she's different from everybody. You oddball, hey? They still can't hear, as I said, their ears are not open yet. Uh, by our next video, their ears will be open. And once their ears are opened up and they can hear and their eyes are all open, then we will move them out of the maternity ward and we will put them into the nursery. So that will be their next big thing that happens along with getting started on some solid food. So we will give you another litter update at that time. We'll make another video and in between time we will do some individual shots of all the puppies next week. And I'm pretty sure Black Collar Girl will have her eyes open for her photo session. We hope you really enjoyed the video and uh, if you have a moment give us a thumbs up and we'll see you all again soon. Thanks so much for watching.